Uh, my name is Oma Lava for all those that wanna know Got a YouTube stepping insta that I named the Omo Show Where I clearly spit the flow, show you around the life I chose So at me if you wanna see how far the story goes Peace family, welcome to the Omo Show I'm Omo, the Afrocentric creatress Here to raise the vibrations of the entire black nation So, because I made one year freeform lock this month And I think I will be three years lock in May Hey, 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 hey. I decided to make a video just to show y'all my locks um, more in depthly. I haven't made one since the summer. Sorry for the wait. Here we go. Um, for those who don't know, I started off with uh, my locks. I started my locks in May of uh, uh, 20, 20 something, 2014, I'm guessing, maybe. Um, and I started them on twist. I did them myself. Um, two strand twists, I mean. I did them myself. And uh, I would say a year and a half into my journey, I decided to start or to stop retwisting my hair. But then it was like in March of last year that I started combining my locks through twisting them together. And I really consider that to be the point where I started freeforming because that's when I like started leaving my hair alone. I don't have those twists in anymore for what most people can tell. I kind of do on some of them. You can see the twist still, but most of them I don't even have them in anymore. And if you went back to some of my previous videos, you would know that it's because I just started to allow my freeforms to form how they wanted to. I wasn't constantly retwisting them back up to combine together. Um, I just started just allowing it to do whatever it wanted to. That's why my locks look very, very different. Um, I got some chunky ones, some not. But I'm going to show you my hair now, so you're going to already know that. So this is the front. And I just washed it, so you might see a little water dripping just a little bit. I'm not sure what you're going to see in this. So this is the front left. Front right and then I'm gonna go through it of course and more like showing you more and not just the surface the back I don't know what type of flakes might still be on top of my hair because usually when I wash it it still will be like the flakes that came out during the wash might sit on top of my hair so i don't know what y'all seeing right now i literally just washed it i haven't brushed it i haven't done anything to it it's not even all the way dry yet so i'm gonna be going outside to air dry it but anyway that is my hair 360 and i'll go through it a little more show you what i mean when i say you see what i what i mean is like the flakes sitting on top just because i just washed it so i have to brush those out please don't mind my flakes since i started free forming this is what we got going on here this one has four locks and again i'm just allowing my hair to do how it wants this one has four these are combining together now This one has a lot, I don't know, at least six in there, yep, six locks. I love this one because it's so chunky, chunky, chunk, chunk. <laughs> chunk, chunk, chunks. Go to the back, y'all see, I got a chunky one right here. chunky one right here that's combining with this one now and this one kind of this is the back those interested in length I just stepped up 
a few steps back for y'all just so y'all can see where they're laying. And some people know, but when you freeform it, you know, your hair would lay so much further down if you weren't. So, um, but now it's laying further down. It's actually laying pretty far down right now just because I just washed it. So the weight from the water is kind of letting it hang a little bit. But usually, like say if it's dry, my freeforms might sit like here, you know. And of course, my back is longer than my front. Um. So yeah, that's my free forms. I'm loving it. Would not go back surely to manicure locks. Don't know if I'll ever cut my hair. I don't like to say I'll never cut my hair because we don't know what this spiritual journey or what this journey in life is gonna take me to. So I'm embracing whatever my liberation looks like for that like that particular time in my life um it's everything I really don't know what to say at this point because they're just so much a part of me I don't look at them anymore I don't obsess over them anymore so yes my love for them has to do with my love for myself um I guess my free forms even allowing them to do whatever it is that they want to do puts me at a place where I learned to be comfortable with my spirit and I learned that it's my spirit that is really shining through more than anything else as as I go through this life you know it's my spirit that shines through because regardless of if because I have this little one little baby lock that I swear like when it's not wet it just pokes up like it's just like this it just be poking up and I don't care you know I don't care about it it just and clearly other people don't care about it either you know because they still find me to be beautiful I guess you know um products I never talk about the products I use I really only use one product and I've been using this literally since I've been natural and this is um African black soap deep conditioning clean deep cleansing shampoo shea moisture many of y'all who are watching my channel right now I'm sure y'all already know about shea moisture products but if you don't this is what it looks like. It's a really, really good clarifying shampoo. I didn't used to need to use it very often when I was a loose natural. Um, I only used it like once a month when I was a loose natural. Um, but now I tend to use it more. This is really the only shampoo I'm using right now. Um, because it is a clarifying shampoo when I was a loose natural. I didn't use it that much. I used like a moisturizing shampoo. But this one I use very often or not very often, I would say maybe once every one and a half to two weeks, I'll use it just because i just been noticing a lot of buildup in my locks and I don't like it. No, no, no. So this always makes my hair feel very fresh and clean. It clearly gets the gunk out. That's why you saw it sitting on top of my locks. So I have to brush it, you know, and then even right here is sitting on top of it. So I have to brush that out, but it does do the job. So I love the shampoo. That's what I'm using. Some people like to know what people are using on their locks. I don't use any conditioner whatsoever. Never have. Don't know if I ever will. Um, any other questions that y'all might have, just let me know. You know, this wasn't... Some people watch videos on hair updates because I know that I used to. So this is really for y'all. It's not supposed to be entertaining video for those who don't really have that much interest in freeform locks. But if you found interesting, I mean, fun and it, cool. Yay. Um, my shirt, I just want to talk about my shirt. Clearly it's wet right now because of my locks. Ooh. But my shirt you can get from blackandunleashed.com. I'm going to put a link below. And I'm also going to put probably a link to the Amazon that you can get Shea Moisture products from for cheaper than what they sell in the stores. And I think that's it, y'all. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, if y'all want me to do a video in particular about my locks or anything else. Please, please, please let me know. I love just answering questions. I love serving the people. Just let me know what you all want. If you have not already, like comment subscribe do whatever it is that you feel like you need to do after seeing this video or seeing my other videos if you haven't seen my other videos go check them out right quick 
All right, I love you. Peace, love, black power, all day, every day. Ain't no other way. No, no. <laughs>